I noticed that the program allows me a few minutes to say a few words in, in addition to introducing the uh, speakers. It's the, uh, Ted and I, we overlapped at MIT for over 45 years. Of course, Ted was Mr. MIT. He'd been here as an undergraduate, graduate, faculty, emeritus faculty, and uh, so his whole life, scientific life, was at MIT. Those of us that came later is that learned a lot from Ted and got to appreciate his science and his style that he works. One of the things that is really appropriate for that memorial, as uh, uh, Rob has pointed out, it's his birthday. I mean, it, is, uh, it was planned that way, and it is the most appropriate way uh, with a mini scientific symposium and to celebrate the occasion. As we celebrate his life and his birthday and his contributions, is that we thank all of you that have attended from far and near and uh, uh, endured the shock of uh, beautiful, cool weather last <laughs> night as you got off the plane or as you tried to walk into MIT this morning. And, and you notice that some things have changed, but many others have not. The wind tunnel under the building is still there. And the middle of March, Charles is still frozen. And uh, climate change, well, it is, if it is coming to Boston, I think we are at the cooler end of it rather than the warmer side. Ted, his devotion was, of course, to his family, but to science and education. As a scientist, he did his work. The first time I saw him was after a hockey game where his nose was broken, so he was <laughs> sitting on his WAN computer and punching away and while with a towel and to stop the bleeding from his nose. And I was shook up, honestly. <laughs> My office was on the fifth floor. He was on the sixth when I came. And that was in the middle of January 1965. But watching him over the years, and uh, I was impressed with the way he approached the science. He was dedicated. Science was his life. And he looked at the basic sciences as he did. He integrated across many disciplines. Right now, we are encouraging this in all the universities, collaborative work. And uh, more than 50 years ago, Ted started that, from physics, mathematics, engineering, and uh, geophysics and the earth sciences. His science, in part, covered the basic sciences, understanding the earth from core up through the crust into the atmosphere, ionosphere, and uh, outer space. And some of these. Uh, Work on the outer space will be discussed this afternoon, but most of the stuff that relates to the Earth will be discussed this morning. And, uh, but he also was very dedicated to his students. He was a great advisor, good mentor, very supportive person. And uh, given that people came from all over is an indication of their respect that they had for him and appreciation they had for the care that he showed. And uh, as we go on uh, to these um, areas on the uh, various uh, uh, studies, and uh, uh, Ted also had, uh, in addition to his contributions and uh, his athletic abilities were outstanding. His basic, I mean, hockey was a big thing in his life, and he made major contributions in that area. For a while, I felt that we were recruiting students, graduate students, that had 
potential to be good hockey players. <laughs> Intramural team on those days was really winning, is that I was with undergraduates, and they always complained. He said, in your department team, there's that one man, is that <laughs> He said, he wipes everyone off. <laughs> and and uh, he did, and he enjoyed it, and most of his life, and that was uh, really great, combining the um, uh, athletics, whether it's in the soccer field or the hockey rink, along with the ice rink, and the, uh, uh, along with the sciences, provided much better interaction with the community, both with the students and other faculty and MIT environment as a whole. His science, in some ways, looked at the very basic sciences, very basic. But in other ways, he was really concerned about the needs of the humanity. And uh, so he really spent and brought many uh, innovations into the area of um, mineral and uh, energy exploration. His work in many uh, cases is that really set the modern trend on mineral exploration. And some of these will be discussed by his former students uh, as we go along. In other areas is that the, uh, where earthquakes are becoming major hazard to the uh, uh, humanity, is that he got interested in studying the fault zones and especially uh, get involved in the earthquake prediction research. So some of his work in California, some of it we did together, but most of it he continued long after uh, I, got, I was involved. And he really dedicated himself for those needs that required the scientific input, but toward the solution of practical needs. Well, we missed Ted, and, uh, but his legacy will live as long as there is an MIT and there is a department. And uh, as long as there are the students that, and the scientists that he educated and brought up, mentored, and continue to make contributions, and then their students will continue to make contributions. So with this, I would like to, in that mini symposium, where we'll look at only snippets of what he has done. Otherwise, it will be a one week long symposium. And uh, we'll start with the first speaker, and, uh, and then start from the deepest interior of the earth, and uh, core and inner core. 